be doing a lot more. This should be a national priority. It is a national disgrace. But I do want to make uh, mention of the work not only of Calls and the magnificent work of Quills and the other legal services and in the No More campaign, but understand there are men right around this country standing up to talk about violence. And this is a really important thing. Um, Aboriginal men in my community of Alice Springs, for example, Johnny Little at Central and Aboriginal Congress, has been at the forefront of a No More Violence campaign. We've had marches up and down the Stewart Highway in Catherine, in Alice Springs, men bringing the attention of their community to their responsibility as men to look after the interests of their families and their children. We know if we don't address this scourge that there is an inevitable result. That is the horrendous suffering that we now see in small, in, amongst children in these communities being exacerbated. It's no mystery to any of us who work and live in these places, Mr Deputy Speaker, and I know of your own experience, that unless we work with communities to resolve the issues, the underlying issues that cause family violence, we will not get a result that we want. But at the same time, we've got to make sure the frontline services are there. Because if they are not there, as sure as night follows day, the people who will suffer most will be the victims of family violence, the women and their children. So I say to the government, you have an opportunity here. You have a real opportunity and an obligation and a responsibility to provide funding, appropriate funding to these services, to ensure that they can provide the required services to their clients and future, the current clients and future clients so that they don't miss out. And they're given fair and proper treatment and fair and proper legal advice and given counselling and the support that they deserve. Mr Deputy Speaker, this is a national disgrace. It should be a national priority. and I'd like to think everyone in this parliament sees that as I do.